Let me say something to you. A genuine prophet who carries the blessing does not need what you have. That is true. Anyone who behaves like he needs what you have, don't give him. If, you, if he gets it, he dries you up. To dry up like himself. Anybody who is behaving and cajoling. Now there are people, if they preach 30 messages in a month, 29 of it has prophet suffering. And as you do it, please don't ensure you don't forget your prophet. That is showing you who not to give. That is showing you where not to waste your resources. I've seen people brought me offering. And I say, how did you get the money? He couldn't explain it. I say, go with it. Yes. Where, how did you? What is, which money is this? One person he could wait. Now this will be like 20 years ago. 100,000 of that time. How did you make this money, sir? When he explained, he couldn't explain well. I said, please go with it. It's not clear. Am I communicating at all? In giving prophetically, first of all, the direction you are giving is the direction of impact. Your life has been impacted. Number two, the direction that, that carries a blessing that is heavier than what you carry. Very important. Very important. Because there are those who just prowl around people's resources. One man brought a car to, for me one day. And he said, um, he just bought a new car and he came to show me the car. I said, God bless you. God bless the car. He said, I also wanted to find out if you like this kind of car so that we can go together and you pick it. I said, me. If you see car, you know it's good for me. You want to come and ask me first. Am I a beggar? Never. You are talking to the wrong person. Somebody met me sometime and say, I have a car for you, a Mercedes car. It is parked in Asokoro. Can you send somebody to come and pick it? Me. Send somebody to pick it. Prophet should go to the offering. And if he says it's a soccer, it's a big place, and so the car must be a whatever car, I should come. Ay, 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 ay. That is how people molest their lives and desecrate the oil on their head and make people look down on you and your God. Not here, not here. If you don't know my worth, I know my worth. I see somebody's life changing here. If you are that one, stand on your feet to the shout of praise. A louder shout of praise. The loud most shout of praise. Look at your neighbor, say something great is happening to you. Say in this season of scarcity, you shall escape. 